Hey, Joy Joy fam. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a quick but really, really good one today, uh, especially if you love a good designer handbag. Double the joy, double the fun. Today's video is my first ever DIY. My husband really encouraged me. He's like, have you not made a Joy Joy video about this yet? So we were at the top of the St. Regis having a little lunch with the girls and Brian was paying the bill and a family came by and they asked us if I could take a picture for them. I was like, of course, I would love to take a picture. So I'm taking their pictures and the wife and the girlfriend are both sort of looking at me, like looking me up and down. And I was thinking, is something wrong? Like, is it what I'm wearing? <laughs> and both of them almost at the same time were like, oh my gosh, I love your bag. And of course, normally I'd be like, oh my gosh, thank you. I sourced it from... That's normally what I would do if you saw me in the street and you were like, I love your bag. But unfortunately, in this case, I couldn't really tell them where I got my bag because I DIY'd it. And that leads me into this video. Normally, I know exactly what kind of bag I want and I can never find it. <laughs> so th this just goes into like my collection box of ideas when I end up like making my own fashion lines because I have these ideas for these gorgeous bags, but they're nowhere to be found. I mean, I do, I guess you could say I do love a beautiful Balenciaga bag, but I don't love paying thousands and thousands. I don't love the idea of paying thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for a bag. Now, I know that this is a sport. I know some of you love a good designer handbag. Some of you collect handbags. That's amazing. And I would love to see your closet one day. So if you want me to come over, just call me. Um, but today I'm talking to those of us who love the feeling of a beautiful, unique, gorgeous designer-esque bag, but don't necessarily need the logo to feel good about the bag you're carrying. That is what I'm gonna show you. Now, this is a very specific DIY. I can't guarantee you can make this exact same bag, but I'm gonna tell you where I got everything and we're gonna do it together, okay? So let's do it. So first off, I wanna share with you what I've already shown you on this channel, and that is the best anthropology bag I've ever sourced. This bag comes in every color, in every style on the anthropology website, but this strap is not necessarily in stock anymore. We are gonna continue to look for this strap. I mean, it's not Fendi, but it definitely speaks Fendi. I was shopping at Nordstrom a month ago and I was carrying this strap with the bag and the sales associate who was helping me was like, oh, I just love your style. You've got the Fendi bag. Which style is that? And, and like, it's called Anthropology. Um, we scored with this one, but when you're looking for straps, first of all, I, of course, am looking at straps that have a clip because we want to DIY our bag here, but you want to look for straps that feel very high-end, almost designer-esque. So there's a lot of them out there, especially if you look at Gucci, you look at the colors. I mean, Anthropology has some dupes here as well as others, but source a cheaper bag with a really good sort of designer-esque inspired strap. And then of course I love the, the gold. The gold is everything. Okay, so number two is leather. Let's talk leather. I adore a leather handbag. Faux leather, that's great too. Vegan leather, we love that. When I am looking at a bag, I am looking for soft, supple, beautiful leather or vegan leather, uh, like a Balenciaga leather almost. So, you know, that's my second thing is like, make sure you think about the type of leather you love. And then number three, if there were any designer handbag that I would want right now, it would be a YSL, period. I love love, love the detail and the quilting of the YSL bags. So here's what happened. Shopping through Nordstrom Rack the other day, and I find this bag. And this bag has YSL vibes, if I've ever seen it. 
right? It's just one, the best color. Two, it meets all the requirements in terms of faux leather. It's a vegan leather, but it feels very real leather. And then three, the size is just amazing. Like it's about the same size as the big YSL bag, but it has sort of like a rainbow strap. So of course it's not sold out because of the rainbow strap. So what do I do? I buy it. It was $39, you guys, $39. Okay. I get home. I take this little gorgeous beauty off of my anthropology bag, and then I do this. Cha-ching! And just like that. Now, what I don't love, the one imperfection here of this situation is a mixed metal, okay? But honestly, I don't know that that's even noticeable. I kind of tuck it in under into the straps. And no one even knows. Now I have a $40 Joy Joy inspired, Melissa inspired handbag. And there it is. She's so cute, isn't she? Like, she's amazing. I am so in love with this handbag. Now, is it perfect? No. But we're not in the business here of being perfect. We're in the business here of evoking joy. And that is the only point of this DIY. So I'm going to give you some shots as we say goodbye. Make sure you text me so you never miss a joy, joy deal. And we can stay connected. And I will see you next time. Mwah.